My man TV, Thomas Vanek, who led the Buffalo Sabres in scoring this season. Thomas, are you there? I'm here. Excellent, man. Excellent. Perfect. Well, thanks for joining us. I know you're very busy in, in the midst of a playoff series that's, uh, that's going uh, well, but not as well as you'd like. Um, but you, you had a terrific season, and you've got such an interesting life and career. Born in, in Austria. Now, most people wouldn't think of uh, hockey as the hockey hotbed being Austria, but you are an amazing player from Austria and uh, the first player uh, from Austria to be drafted so highly uh, since Aaron Broughton in uh, 7980. And Aaron, of course, the brother of Neil Broughton, who played on the 1980 Olympic hockey team and both went on to have a great NHL career. What was it like growing, yeah, I mean, growing up in, in Austria? Well, I mean, obviously, like you said, you know, Austria is not, not, not your hotbed for hockey players, but I think the sport is growing. I mean, back home it's more skiing, soccer. But, uh, you know, as far as my background, my parents are uh, from Czech. They fled the country uh, in 82 to Austria, and I was born uh, a couple of years later in Austria. And my dad played pro hockey, so I kind of followed in his footsteps. It's pretty. It's pretty amazing. Do, when you're in Austria, do they do they try and make you speak like Schwarzenegger? <laughs> I think he speaks a little different uh, English and German nowadays. So I'm not quite sure what that makes of this. Now, talk about uh, growing up. Your dad played pro hockey, but how did you first know that you were such a good hockey player? Especially, you know, being that you started in Austria. Well, I don't know. I mean, that's that's tough to say. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, early on. Uh, as a young boy when I was six, seven, and I really got into hockey. I always played with older kids, and uh, when I was 14, I played with an uh, Austrian select team in Quebec, Canada, in a pretty big uh, under-14 tournament, and I did pretty well. And uh, a few scouts there already uh, were interested in me and saying, you know, I should move over here, and my dad had a few friends in Canada that he played in Austria with. So through his connection, I went uh, to Canada for a year, and... Um, just loved it, you know, loved the hockey and then how enthusiasm the sports was there. And from there, I moved, uh, when I was 15, moved on to uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and I uh, played in the U.S. Junior League there. And um, from there on out, I just kept developing. I uh, got a scholarship for the University of Minnesota and then um, got drafted in Buffalo, and I'm still here. How do you like playing in Buffalo? It's good, you know, it's, it's obviously it's not... Uh, you know, the, the greatest city in, in pro sports, but I think outside of that, you know, myself, I'm married, i got three kids, and it's, it's great. I mean, the neighborhoods are nice, and the great part about Buffalo is it's a sports city. I mean, and these, these people really uh, live and die for the Bills and the Sabres, so it's, uh, you know, for myself, it's great. Do you you want to play in a town where, uh, you know, it means a lot to them. Now, now in 06 and 07, you won the NHL Plus Minus Award but you were also very close to leaving Buffalo. Can you talk about that? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, anytime you can, you know, do something like that, it's special. But, you know, it's, it's you know, like I said, individual awards are not, it's, it's not for me. You know, for me, it's about uh, winning a championship. And, uh, you know, we're in a hunt right now in the playoffs. Obviously, we're down a game here, but that's why it's the best of seven series. So uh, we'll go out there next game and give our best here. How close were you to becoming an Edmonton Oiler? I was close. I mean, I see, uh, you know, I signed with them as a uh, restricted free agent, so I wasn't quite sure what, what was going to happen there. But uh, Buffalo matched it fairly quickly, and I was happy. You know, I, I played for their farm team, and I grew up with a lot of the guys that are still here. And so it's, uh, it's, uh, it's exciting to be still here. I, I think uh, what I've been telling Dee, by the way, who's I know a, a, a Gopher uh, alum along with you, is that uh, mm -hmm. it's it's unlike football that you know you don't win you don't you don't die uh, live and die by each game you have a best of seven mm -hmm. series which is something that uh, makes the NHL special and is good because now you guys can come back and get right in the hunt. What do you think it's going to take for you guys to 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 win the next game? Well, it's going to be tough. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, there's a reason the Flyers were uh, the number two seed. You know, that's a good team. They're great offensively. I think for us, we just need to tighten up a little bit defensively and, uh, you know, found, found our uh, our own scoring group. You know, we, we are, we're pretty good offensively as well. Uh, you know, the, the game uh, that we lost, you know, I think every game was, was so close. It could have went either way. It's just about us, you know, not giving up those chances. And then on the flip side of it, you know, when we have a chance, we got to bury it. 
Exactly. I mean, it, you know, a lot of people are, are pointing at Ryan Miller that he's been struggling since the first game when he had those 35 saves. But but like mm-hmm. you just said, it's a lot of defense and, and especially in game two, you guys got a lot of uh, penalties, silly penalties. So what can you do? Because mm-hmm. you're an offensive player, you're a forward. What can you do to kind of kind of help the, the defense and the goalie? Well, like I said, we we, we got to work a five-man unit out there. Obviously, uh, I know what my job is, and uh, but at the same time, you know, I got to be better defensively too. I mean, uh, as a team, as a group, we just need to uh, refocus here, uh, which I think today we had a great practice, and uh, we worked on some things, and we'll be ready to go. And uh, like you said, the penalties in game two, uh, you know, some of them were unnecessary, but uh, we usually get a chance back. So uh, that's something we can't worry about. You know, that's part of the game, but... I think the things we can't worry about is just tighten up on, on their offensive guys. And like I said, uh, when we get a chance, we got to put it in the back of the net. Now, now uh, Thomas, how tough is it in a game like game two where you score two early power play goals and still lose the game? How tough is that on you and on the team? Well, I mean, uh, yeah, like I said, we, we, we got, uh, you know, we got those two goals. We tied it up, even got the lead, and then, uh, you know, we took some penalties we didn't want to, so I uh, made it tough. But like I said, you know, it, it's a lot of things happen inside the game you, you can't worry about. It. You just need, you know, anytime you're out there, you just got to give it your all here at this time of the year, especially. Well, Thomas, I wanted to talk to you about your Gopher career. I think that's so interesting. I mean, the Minnesota Golden Gophers turn out so many young, great hockey players. Obviously, Herb Brooks was coaching the Minnesota Golden Gophers when he left to coach the United States hockey team in the 1980 Olympics that won gold for the USA, and so many of those players went over. What was it like being a Golden Gopher, and how important do you think that was for your career? That was great. I mean, I have great memories. You know, I still still live there in the off season, still train at the U, and uh, with Cal Dietz. Uh, yeah, still there with Cal, so, uh, you know, I, I love it. I mean, I think it's the greatest program, uh, you know, for hockey. Obviously, we had a few down years here in the past, but, uh, you know, they're going to regroup with, uh, you know, you have it all. I mean, if you want to be a top-of-the-line hockey player, why you know, you should go to the U, and um, my time there was great. I mean, we won a national championship, and um, anytime you can do something like that, it's special. You know, it, it, it stays forever. You're always good friends with those guys, and uh, we're still uh, very close. How is it partying with D. Reed after you win a championship? <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably not as good after after he won the Super Bowl, but uh, <laughs> we had a good time. So uh, it's it's any like I said, at any level that you win, uh, you, you party pretty good. Now, now you got uh, Jordan Leopold on the team now out there in Buffalo, who is also a, a Gopher great. How is it getting him back after uh, missing ten games? Well, it's, uh, you know, having Leo back is great. I mean, I thought yesterday he played well after, you know, just jumping right into a playoff game. And, uh, you know, in the off season I recruited him pretty good, and uh, I'm glad he came. I think he, he was our best defenseman uh, most of the year until he got hurt. And, uh, you know, so, so hopefully uh, with him getting one game under the belt here, he'll be even better for us. Well, Thomas, I really appreciate your time. I want to correct one thing I said that was wrong. It was about uh, your draft in, in the NHL. Uh, it was not Aaron Broughton as an, as an Austrian, which I should have known because I talked about his brother <laughs> playing on the USA team. Um, we'll take him, though. <laughs> but you should take him. You should take him. Uh, he, he was the, uh, the last Golden Gopher to score as many points and goals as a freshman as you did in 2003, mm-hmm. and obviously he did that in 70, uh, 79, 80, um, mm-hmm. which is also a tremendous stat. But, and you were picked very high, uh, I think the highest pick for an Austrian. So I had my facts a little <laughs> messed up. I was running around doing things and reading your Wikipedia page while driving, which I shouldn't have been doing. But uh, yeah. I do enjoy watching you play in Buffalo and, 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 and uh, play hockey. And, uh, yeah, you know, you guys should take uh, Broughton. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's, that's a good mistake to have. So uh, keep, you know, keep bringing us more guys. All right. Well, we, we, can, you know, we hope you get things turned around. Tomorrow night, you're going to be at home against the Flyers game four. And, and I think you guys, you know, you, you come out with that energy early on and, and play good defense, no silly penalties. You guys will be right back in mm-hmm. and tie the series up. That's right. I mean, uh, well, we got to come out at heart. You know, we, we got the fans behind us and uh, tie the series up. And uh, we'll go from there. One last question for you before we let you go. How important is it to play at home in hockey in the playoffs? And, and to, to really just have that, that home crowd, especially when you make a big hit or you score a big goal? 
No, oh, it's huge. I mean, uh, you know, but you know, at the same time, you know, on the road is fun too. You know, you scoring in Philly like like we did. Uh, you know, the crowd gets pretty crowded, but at the same time, like you said, you make a big hit or a big goal. Uh, you can feel the energy in the building, so uh, we need to feed off that tomorrow. One, one last question. You know, how tough is it preparing for, for a game when the goalies are switching or you prepare for one goalie and then they switch goalies on you? Does that make it tough on you as an offensive player? No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. I mean, uh, for us, you know, it's, it's about hitting our spot, or for, for me it is at least, you know. Uh, any goal in this league is good, but it doesn't matter uh, who's in for them. Uh, like I said, for us, it's about getting to the net, getting traffic, and, uh, you know, just, just putting it right by him. Yeah, just keep playing aggressive. You know, goals, assists, I know you're going to contribute to the to the Sabres scoring sometime within these next, you know, games or two games or so, and g good luck. And bring the cup into the yeah. studios here at Sports. When you win it, we want to hoist it, <laughs> maybe drink out of it, and, and either way, we want to have you in studio during the off season. Perfect. Well, thanks a lot for having me, guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, thank thanks, you so Thomas. much. Thanks for your time. Good luck. Okay. And kick those flyers' butts. Can't stand them. That's right. <laughs> thanks. Take care. <laughs> thank you. All right. Take care, bro. Well, it's Thomas Vanek on Sports Daily on Sports.com and Ustream.tv. I mean, like, Thomas, like, I listen, in between breaks, I'm texting him. He's like, I'm still <laughs> at the rink. Like, you know, he, he told me he actually wouldn't be able to do the interview today. So I really got to, you know, give my hats off and Real big shout out to Thomas Van. Yeah, what a great guy, and and especially they're working so hard in the middle of a series here, and they're doing such a great job. So we really appreciate that, and thank really you again, Thomas. That.